Hey, Cloud. Hmm. Gotta be one of them lost kids. Lost? Who said we were lost? Stupid old man. What'd you say? What are you doing out here? And where's everyone else? Well, we saw a bunch of tombstones lying on the ground, so we decided to stand them back up. And then I heard laughing coming from somewhere, and when I turned around, everyone was gone. I was alone. I heard that, and everyone disappeared. Heads up! Here we go. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Allow me. <laughs> Take it away. 
keep it together. Okay, let's go. Uh, the limit kids come out all this way? This is where our parents are. They're resting, but we wanted to say hi. Sometimes you just want to do that, you know? I do. Thanks so much for coming to find us. That's another one I owe you. We're gonna head back to the house now. Ms. Foley is probably pretty worried. Hey, Cloud, I found this on the ground. You should take it. I think it might come in handy. Bunch of little smart asses. <laughs> With good hearts.
Hey there, Mark. Brought some friends today, I see. Name's Murray. Cloud and me, we... Well, let's just say we're recent acquaintances. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, if I had to guess. Hunting for Don Corneo's fortune. Now how'd you know about that? <laughs> well, there's nothing I love more than a good rumor. But I decided to fact-check this one myself. Hate to burst your bubble, but it's not here. If the Angel of the Slums got to it first, then I'm guessing that gill is as good as gone. Sounds like a reasonable assumption. But you know, that's not the rumor that's been making the rounds. Humor me real quick. A question. Hypothetically, if you did manage to get your hands on this treasure, what do you think you would do with it? Easy. Make sure the people of Sector 7 had the means to get back on their feet. That's what. We'd use that creep's fortune to better the lives of everyone down here. Hmm. Right. Back to this rumor. Word on the streets says the Angel doesn't have the key. If you want the full story, talk to Kyrie. She may be young, but she knows everything about everyone. She's easy to spot, too. Striped stockings, big hat. Girl doesn't exactly fit in. Where is she? Oh, who knows? I'm too old to keep up with kids her age these days. You understand. Kyrie sticks out like a sore thumb. Look for striped stockings and a big old hat. Okay. I got you. It's on you. I got this. Gloves up. Sure thing, coach. Let's go.
No holding back. No surprises there. Just like that, okay? I got gotcha. you. What were you thinking? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Crawl into a hole and die! Oh, Johnny's been had. Bro! Tifa! Damn, is it good to see you guys again? I told you to stop calling me that. Bro, I'm in serious need of your expertise. Lend me a hand. Fine, what? Truth is, I'm uh, trying to get out of town for uh, reasons. Yeah, reasons. But the thing is, <laughs> I got mugged. She took it, took it all, man. <sighs> I tried to chase her down, I really did. But she was real fast like. Man, what am I gonna do? This could be the end for old Johnny boy. I'm begging you, help me out. Come on, bro. What'd she look like? Bro. Uh, hold on. Let me think. I wanna get this right. She was a cutie. Black hair. Pretty sure she was wearing a hat. And, uh, oh yeah. She was wearing these striped stockings, too. Kyrie? Which way'd she go? Uh, toward the church, I think. How are you liking that music disc I gave you?
What? It wasn't me. You've got the wrong girl. Never committed a crime in my life. You Kyrie? Uh, Kyrie? Who's that? Can't say I know her, but cool name. <laughs> Someone mugged our friend and took every last gill he had. Sound familiar? Oh, that? <laughs> oh, I thought I was in actual trouble. Don't scare me like that. Now I remember you. You're that chick. The one who was spreading lies in Sector 5. Oh yeah, I did do that. <laughs> good times, good times. <gasps> Hold on. I know you, Blondie. You're that merc everyone's talking about. Oh, maybe my luck's not so bad. Shinra's after me. You've got to help me. So from them too, did you? No. Well, yes, sort of. It's complicated. How was I supposed to know they were Shinra? And now those jerks won't leave me alone. Even though all I took was some ugly key. I mean, what's the big deal anyway? Wait a minute. That was you? <sighs> oh, great. So everyone's talking about it? Is this the end? Am I a dead woman? Do I have to go on the run? Leave Midgar forever and, and never look back? Kyrie, please. Just give us the money you stole from our friend, would you? And the key while you're at it. No way! You're gonna split the second I do! Then who will protect me? I can't handle this on my own! <sighs> we'll handle Shinra if you give us the key. Deal? It's a deal. Right about now, those Shinra creeps should be hanging out at the Coliseum. They're waiting for a special match to start, starring yours truly. It's the talk of the town. You're joking. Oh, I won't be there. I'm not stupid. It's a miracle you've managed to stay alive this long. I'll take that as a compliment. Now run along and clean up my mess. You'll get your key once I know I'm safe. Take him out. It's over. And don't come back. Ain't nothing to worry about. Deal Not with that. Bit. Yes, I'll do it. Yeah. Just like that, okay? I got you. Thanks, I guess. Hey, 
now. I know you. You're Eret's bodyguard. I could really use her help. She always knew where to find the best herbs, and... You haven't seen her, have you? I used up all my meds treating people injured when the plate fell, you see. I could make more, but not without those herbs. So, what do you need? You mean you're willing to help me out? Oh, thank you. You'd be doing this town a huge favor. Here's a list of everything I'm looking for. A couple of my patients were talking about a behemoth in some underground lab or something. Can't say I've ever heard of a lab like that before, though. Thank you enough, poor boy. He's easily the most skittish of the bunch. I was worried sick he might get hurt, but thank God he didn't. Momo made it back! Can't thank you enough, silly old boy. Always off in his own world. I was sure some monster catch him, but I'm glad to see they didn't. Whatever. 
Make this quick. Not bad. Let's make this quick. Keep it up! Protect you! Damn it! 
Keep it coming! I'm ready! One step at a time, huh? Okay then, that makes three. We better check in at Sam's. There's the champ with a heart of gold. My babies are all back home, safe and sound. Now I can finally get back to the business of business. Thanks, partner. Here, y'all learn this. It's a pass that'll get you a ride on one of my carriages whenever you need it. Free of charge, of course. Not bad, am I right? Chocobos or something else. You can ride them, pet them, befriend them. What would we do without them? They're the reason a guy like me can keep a roof over his head in a town like this. And that's no lie. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you for doubting that coming from me, but it is what it is. Got no other choice. What? Did you guys get into it with them or something? I don't want to talk about it. Huh? Hey, Clyde! What happened? Don't recall. Everyone's so... Oh! Hey, yeah. Uh... Betty, I'm so glad to see you're okay. You too. Uh, where's Marlene? Is she okay? Don't worry. She's safe. Help me with something? I'm looking for music discs for the jukebox. I think some new music might cheer people up, make them happy. That's a wonderful idea. Okay. If we find any music discs, we'll bring them straight to you. You just promised to crank up the volume, all right? You know I will. Thanks! I just want people to smile more. Thanks a bunch! Song's doing it. People still seem kind of sad. I'm still seeing a lot of friends. Hmm. I don't think this song. People still seem. I'm still seeing a lot of friends. Still see, I'm still seeing a lot of frowns. I saw it with my own eyes. A public security Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop.
Do come again. Don't tell it. I heard Don Cornea was missing. You're kidding me. 